All right, today we have a science day, and today we are going to figure out computers. Write down all the things you already know about computers. How they work, what bits they have, what they can do. Got it? I am like the so first strange. computer was used to crack codes. Oh, that's true. Really? Remember we saw uh, some Algorithms. Like it. Ooh. Excellent. Uh, sort of Lucas. You can play games. You can do work with it. You can do work. Take pictures. The first computer was used to crack code. And you can watch videos on it. Also, you can play games. Um, you can make websites. Mm -hmm. You can watch movies. And they stop. Absolutely, all these things videos, pictures, things to buy, facts about World War II, work things, game things, they're all stored as zero or one. That's all a computer knows is a zero or a one. And these zeros and ones can yeah, be yeah. numbers. These are called binary numbers. How do the binary things work? Can you explain how you calculated these things? I think, like, like, like you have a grid where 16, 8, 4, 2, 1 is so the numbers. Mm -hmm. Go from binary numbers to decimal numbers. To decimals. But how do we go to letters? Uh, Those numbers one, mean no, letters. One, it's one, a one, code. Can you figure out the code? Oh, oh. What about you? Is one of the one of the numbers a letter? So like one maybe A, two might like two maybe B. Well, why didn't you try it out? I thought. Okay, so what's the nineteenth letter? A B C D R F. S. S. So that's how binaries can be numbers and they can be letters. But what else can they store that you guys draw? Pictures. Pictures. So how can binaries be pictures? Here are a lot of binary numbers. How can they become a picture? No, no, they're the zeros. No, 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 Try colouring in every one, colour in the square black, and leave all the zeros blank. It looks like a smiley face! It's a smiley face! No, it's not just a smiley face, Charlie, it's your smiley face. You see the binary spelled out Sam and Lucas and the smiley face is Charlie's. Hold it up next to your <coughs> Hold it up next to your smile face. face. Show me. There we go. Smiley face. Every single picture that you see is just like this. It's just ones and zeros that end up as blobs of colour. So if you look at this photograph, if you get if you zoom in and zoom in and zoom in, all it is when you get closer and closer and closer is lots of little blobs that are just different colours. So these can be any different colours instead of just uh, black or white, but it's the same idea. Oh, They're all that's just your blobs. granddad's hair. <laughs> that's all it is. No, it's my uncle's hair. Yeah. Your great uncle. All these pictures are just little ones and zeros. And ones and zeros can be numbers, they can be letters, they can be pictures. They're everything the computer does. Everything? Right. Everything the computer does is in the end a one or a zero. And we're going to try and look inside this computer, and we've got to answer these questions. Where does it store all the ones and zeros? And how does it store them? Where are all the algorithms, and how does it figure these things out? Hold up your tools. And this computer costs probably about a thousand pounds when it's new. They're very, very expensive things. How did you just buy this? Did you get a hammer? No, I didn't. Um, buy it. I got it from work and it's broken so the people are going to throw it out and I said no, we can use it. Amen. See if you guys can guess what this does. I think this is the mechanism that it pulls in and out. It's something that's flat and round. What's flat and round that you put in? CD! The CD! You know what this is right here? What? That is a tiny, tiny laser. Like you'd have on a, a laser ray gun. Like in Star Wars, it would blow people up. That is a little laser that beams up into the disc. Well, that's going to explode. That's what's going to happen. Whoa. Whoa! The computer stores these ones and zeros. Is it's got really, really small. It's got little buckets. Buckets? And what it, it does... water? No, little electrons stay in the bucket. And if there's an electron in the little bucket, that's a one. And if there's not an electron, that's a zero. Remember we learned about electricity, we saw those electrons stream through wires. 
Well, inside a computer, all these electrons are trapped in the buckets, or they disappear. You guys found so far what bits have we found? I want to open up this fan. That's a fan to cool it down. And why has the computer got a fan? Because it can get quite hot when you try to open up this bit. Your mother made his dad. Look, really interested in this bit. So he wants me to try to open. Look, does that look like a town or something? Uh, I'll it looks like a lot, Lucas. A town. Because all these things, they actually call them highways. Information highways, where all the ones and the zeros race down all of these, um, all of these little roads. I know, all it's right. amazing. So let's try figuring out a few things. Oh, look at this! So the green thing is called a printed circuit board and it's got lots of sort of little wires etched into it and down those wires all the electrons can stream. So you remember when we made the Morse code detector and you press a little button yeah. and a light flashed on? Well that little light was flashing on because all the electrons are going on and off and on and off and making the bulb come up. And all these little wires here are sort of doing the same job. There's Ooh, electricity that like flows shot. down them and it's sending signals. So this thing here is called the motherboard and it's got the CPU, that's a central yeah. processing unit. That's like the thing that runs the algorithms and makes all the decisions. And it's connected to all of these other things. Shall we have a look at it under the microscope? Look what we can see! that microscope. Ha! Writing. See? So you see all these little silver lines. Just like Lucas said, it's like those are roads in a little town. And all the electricity travels down there and goes to all these different places. We want to try and get inside one of those chips to see if we can see what's in there. That's our goal, got it? What's that you're holding? Oh, that's the screw. Look how big the screwdriver is on the screen. Alright, so there's the chip. Okay, try and snap it. You broke it? Hmm, what's inside of it? Have a look, have a look. Ooh. Got no, no, you're not really. Ooh. Wow! Hmm, it's mostly solid plastic, isn't it? But there's a very thin slice of something, like a sandwich, running all the way through it. Can you see? Yeah, There we go, great. Look at that. Uh, they're, they're tiny little cables. Ooh, look. They're That's lights, what, huh? like what, what I said. How, really. do, how, do, how do we get in this? That's right, they're like little plugs, tiny little plugs and sockets. And the people on these. And the sockets are here. That's right, that's what they're going to. Let's see what they're going to. Oh. Yeah, see, that's what they plugged into. So there's all the little plugs. Right, and then once this guy goes in, he just go. slots in there, there. And they will plug in. Ooh, what's that you found, Charlie? I'm looking at the wires. Which way do you Wow, so I'm going to point the microscope at its own screen. See what we can see. So that's the computer I Look, think, look, right? he's looking inside the screen. He's looking inside the screen. Can look, you see? Sam. He's looking inside the screen. So can you see those little sort of bars that are different colors? Some are green, some are blue, some are red. Yeah. Those are the liquid crystals glowing. So there's electricity going through this computer. Hey, hey, hey. Charlie, Charlie, these signals are attached to here. And they send signals to these bits. And then where do those signals go? And those they signals go, into... go to the crystals and tell them what colour. Very good. Hey, we found the crystals, everyone! There look, 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 there they are. See, they're green, red and blue. Green, red and blue. Those are the ones that we saw. So that's them broken in our laptop. And this is them on a working laptop. Look, green, red, and blue. There you go. Look, 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 Sam, Sam. Look, green, red, and blue. That's on the working laptop, and that's them right here. So what is it that computers store? What do they know? How do they show you pictures and words and music and everything else? They use one and zero. That's right, ones and zeros. But the question is, how many ones and zeros could this computer store? Alright, so that's roughly the answer. If you want to know how many zeros and ones there are on just that little plastic hard drive, it is... 400, thousand, thousand, thousand. 400 billion. Really? That's quite a lot of zeros and ones. Oh, I'm bleeding.